Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm David from Hunted Industries. This video is gonna be our last video. Last video about welding and panel making, which is a good news because after this video, we're gonna jump and start working on the inside in the living area, ripping everything out and start new, start fresh, looking for damp issues, looking for structural issues, start with a blank canvas and we will redesign the whole interior of the motorhome mainly using recycled materials from skip, the you know, marketplace, whatever we can find cheap or free to collect if you're interested how we're gonna do it please subscribe and check out the other videos as well See what's what's behind the fillers. Here's my machine machine panel, so that's why I cut out. I cleared up all the metal um, to see how bad it is. This is gonna be replaced, but still I have to tack it in place to keep it in position. It's not too bad there, but also I'm gonna um, cut it shorter because that's pretty good behind that. So I'm gonna tack it a few places, carry on shaping and I don't know, maybe do the top. My piece was slightly bigger, 
tacked it in a couple of places, then just cut it together so I have a nice tight joint. So it's gonna be a new piece all the way down to the bottom. fillings instead of using a lot of welding wire and using this rod get the flux off and we hammer it off and it's brilliant to to fill up uh, bigger holes or bigger gaps Slight overlap, just a tiny, tiny overlap. And then stagger the weld so you're not going to overheat and warp the sheet metal. It's quite important to let the weld cool down. Nice and tight here, you got some holes there. Right now all I have to do is take my time, make sure you have enough spaces between welds so you're not gonna warp the metal. Few more holes in there, just gonna quickly fill it up. The next step is um, flip it over. So it's time now to fold the, the edge over, grab the edge and fold it. But also, I'm gonna use a hammer and dolly. I bought this kit for 22 pounds of eBay. It is a cheap quality. It just got all what I actually need for this project. Yeah, the surface is not, not professional. It's gonna help me out on this door.
we're gonna quickly put it back into place and let's see how it shots, how it looks. Have a look. today guys thank you very much for watching i really appreciate all of you who supporting our youtube channel that was our last video on this playlist we're gonna start a new one soon so see you next time